white t-shirt fragrances. I've been tagged. How's it going YouTube? I hope you're all doing well. My name's Grant. Welcome to 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you've not already and turn on your notifications so you'll be made aware of any future content. You can also follow me over on Instagram at 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. So today we're going to be looking at five white t-shirt fragrances. I really appreciate being tagged to do this one and I was tagged by my mate over at Trusted Nose. If you've not checked out his channel already, make sure you do so because it's an amazing channel. And another amazing channel is GTS Sense and it's Greg over at GTS Sense that I'm going to tag to do this one. If you watched my last video, it was five fragrances perfect for summer days. And to be fair, them five could have just transferred straight over to this list. But where would be the fun in that? I've gone with five completely new fragrances, so let's get into it. First up, we're going with this one. Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua. Now this one's got notes of grapefruit, sea notes, ambroxan and violet. And it's really nice and fresh, obviously with it being an aquatic fragrance, you'd expect it to be. It's got some nice freshness from the sea notes, the ambroxan and the grapefruit. But the violet comes out really nicely on my skin. It's a really strong violet note and it keeps this fragrance really clean and watery. Perfect for a white t-shirt if you ask me. Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua. Next up we're going with this one. Yves Saint Laurent, white eau de parfum. Now in this one, you've got notes of apple, ginger, sage, and tonka bean. And that apple note pretty much runs through this whole fragrance. Obviously it fades towards the end. It's not as prominent in the dry down, but you've still got a nice fruity feel from it. But the ginger really pops that apple note off the skin in the opening. And as it does dry down, the sage comes into it more with the tonka bean, but it's fresh all the way through. It's got a good dose of sweetness. And this just goes perfect with a white t-shirt too. So that one was Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. Moving on, we've got this one. Mont Blanc Individuel. Now this is a really, really fresh, clean smelling fragrance. You've got notes of raspberry, lavender, cardamom and vanilla. And it has got a good dose of sweetness in this one from that vanilla. But it's a really clean fragrance. It's just got this. I've not really smelt anything quite like this one. It's got a real, real clean feel to it. You've got a nice little bit of that raspberry in the opening. But the lavender is quite a constant note in this one. I think that's where a lot of the cleanness comes from. You've got a little touch of spices in there. And obviously that sweetness from the vanilla as well. But it is a really, really good fragrance, this one. Mont Blanc Individuel. The next fragrance has been on my channel a lot of times, but it's not been on for a while and it had to be on this list. Get it out of the light. Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. What more can I say about this fragrance that I've not already said on the channel? It's just amazing. Some of the notes are mandarin orange, mint, tonka bean, musk. It's just an absolute cracker. It smells so good. I don't really know what else to say about it at this point that I've not already said. It's fresh, it's clean, it's sweet, it's classy. Just go and get it. Chanel Allure on Sport Eau Extreme. And to wrap this list up, I've gone with this one. Armani Code Colonia. Brilliant fragrance, this one. You've got notes of bergamot, mandarin orange, tonka bean and heliotrope and you get a lovely citrus opening with this one which i wish hung around longer but it doesn't sort of 10 minutes and that citrus opening gone but then as you move through the fragrance it does develop quite a lot and basically what you're left with in the dry down with this one is a sweetness from the tonka bean and that heliotrope which plays a real major part gives it a slight almondy feel but it still stays fresh this fragrance is fresh all the way through, even though it's sweet and slightly floral in the dry down with that kind of almondy feel. It's fresh all the way through. Great for a white t-shirt. Armani Code Colonia. So they were my five. What five fragrances do you like wearing in a white t-shirt? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. I love the interaction with you guys. 
As always, thanks a lot for taking the time out to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, keep smelling amazing.